All right, let's just get this over and done with. Oh, hey, glasses, forward, fuck. Nice glasses, you specky twat. You're a motherfucking poor gas looking motherfucker. Yeah, I get the point. I'm wearing glasses. I'm wearing glasses. What an amazing sight. Somebody on YouTube.com is wearing glasses. My vision is pretty much terrible at this point. I'm going to be wearing glasses full time probably by this time next week. So yeah, it's time to get used to this and let's get into the video. Now, I know that I'm not actually a reaction channel. I know it's not really the vibe that I give on this channel. I don't usually just sit down and react to a video. But today we are actually going to be changing up on that. And don't worry, people, don't worry. I'm not going to become somebody like this. Did Hey, I ain't really did though, bro. Stunting on niggas, bro. I'm that in niggas, the hills and my son just did a hundred mil. Hundred mil, I ain't really yeah. did though. That's crazy, nigga. So I was just scrolling through my Twitter feed last week before I was ill, and I was thinking, what can I make a video on? What is there to make a video on and talk about? And then I saw this tweet. What should have been in YouTube Rewind? Jack Septicai, Thomas Sanders, more Dodi, more Drip, less Lele Pons. And then I thought to myself, hold up a second, Lele Pons was actually in YouTube Rewind. And We've got two special guests with us. Okay, Lele and Liza, tell me about 2017. And then I thought, wait, 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 but Lele Pons isn't a YouTuber. Lele Pons isn't a YouTuber. Let's get that through right now. Lele Pons is not a YouTuber. Now, if you have no idea whatsoever who Lele Pons is, she's basically one of them mugs that came over from Instagram, came over from Vine, when Vine shut down, onto YouTube, funded by a corporation, and makes tons of fucking videos. And yes, I know she makes videos on the website, but the reason I don't call her a YouTuber is purely because she's funded by a massive corporation. She has writers, she has a studio, she has everything you want when you're owned by a company. I mean, praise the fucking Lord. Praise the the Lord that Vine 2 is apparently coming back. So all these mugs can go back to Vine and just fuck off from this website. Can you imagine that? A website, YouTube, without these Instagram comedians, without these Viners, without Jake and Logan Paul, without Lele Pons, it would be a wonderful place. But I did think to myself, all right, let's give her a chance. Let's give her a chance and just think, well, maybe your content's improved. Maybe, maybe things have got better. And over time, since I last looked at a Lele Pons video, maybe her stuff has improved. So one of Lele Pons' latest videos is called Whose Dog Is It? Lele Pons. Well thank you Lele, thank you for letting us know that you made this video on a channel called Lele Pons. Because I wouldn't have realised that. I wouldn't have realised that a video on Lele Pons' channel is made by Lele Pons. Right, so let's get into this. Let's get into Whose Dog Is It? by Lele Pons. I'm so fucking excited. I can't wait to react to this. I really, really don't want to react to it. Please Zoella, do something. Please can you just do something so I don't have to react to a, a Lele Pons video? Please. Welcome to the Dr. Fee Show. Today we have a special family feud involving the world's most famous Instagram dog, Sugar Bee. Fam famous, inst famous Instagram. Are you, are you telling me we've got to the point of famous Instagram dog? Is that a thing? Famous Instagram dog? Is that really a thing? What? What's this? Nine famous dogs you need to be following on Instagram. What? What's this? Buddy Boo Waggy Tail. What the fuck? 500, 577 thousand Instagram. 577,000 Instagram followers. I fucking hate this planet. I actually hate this planet. I have 10,000 subscribers. I work my ass into this thing. I work my ass into it. That doesn't make any sense, but I, I put a lot of effort into YouTube and then I see a dog called Boogie Fucking Boo Wagtails or whatever the name is. It has 500... 577... Thousand followers. Sugar Bean has gone missing, and sadly, it does not look like he'll be returning. The couple are here to settle his real estate, his finances, and most importantly, his social media account. Oh, please, can we not do this? Can we just not do this now? I want to react to a Zoella video, please. <laughs> wait, 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 what? You're telling me I've made six? Six too many Zoella videos? I'm so okay, sorry. Sorry, let's, let's continue with this. So, I hear you guys are getting a divorce. Yes, yes finally, so we can be together. Oh my God. Dude. Exactly. Do you see what's going on? That's her side piece. She's been cheating on me. I love that it suddenly just turned into a domestic. At first it was about whose dog is it. They were wondering whose famous Instagram dog is it. Now it's just turned into Lady Ponza supposedly cheated on her boyfriend. Well that's a good thing to give to your child audience. That's a good way to influence your audience. Just letting them know that cheating, it's not that bad if you are a Lady Ponza fan. Just, just go ahead and do it. Fuck me, this is bad. That, that, let's continue. Let's continue. Why did you bring her? Her? Why did you bring the child? That's our daughter. She's Asian! Oh, come on, Lele, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Stay away from that. You're in YouTube Rewind, love. You shouldn't be talking about race. You can't do that when you're in YouTube Rewind, when you're in YouTube's good books. I mean, I feel like on YouTube at the moment, if you speak about race, if you speak about ethnicity, anything whatsoever, you're going to get demonetized, and there's a good chance your channel's just not going to get promoted whatsoever, because YouTube, YouTube don't like you having opinions. You're not, you're not allowed opinions. You're allowed opinions on Zoella. You're allowed opinions on an Instagram community, but you have opinions on politics, people. You are fucked. How do we end up talking about politics? Let's get back to it. Okay, let's hear about the dog. Who found him? Oh, that would be me. And who created his Instagram account? I did that. Actually, I did. 
I love how fucking uncomfortable this girl looks. Just look at the girl on the left. She looks like she just doesn't want to be there whatsoever. I mean, to be fair, I couldn't be fucked either. Even though I was getting paid 60 grand a fucking hour, I would not want to be in a skit of Lele Pons. That would be a career low if I had to record something with Lele Pons. Interesting. And who took care of him? I did. I did. I have some. <laughs> Little girl, you didn't even know the dog. I mean, I guess Lele knows all about bullying kids. I mean, look at how not to be bullied video. Thanks for that, Lele. I can, I can now go outside and not get bullied because Lele Pons made a video about how not to be, how not to be bullied. Thank, thanks, thanks, Lele. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Hey, yo, man, what kind of animal is that? It's a fucking dog, mate. It's a fucking... It's a, it's a dog. I don't, I don't understand how you don't realise it's a dog. Everyone watching this right now, me, my dad watching this, you watching this, everybody knows that's a dog. That's a dog. Dog? Nah, star, that is a beast. Oh, don't you know who I am? I'm the biggest rapper in Jamaica, man. Don't you want your dog to be famous? Let me get a picture with your dog. Yo, man, you the shuffle, man, with the main dog, man. Hey! Post it! Oh! I'm not sure what's happening at this point. I'm genuinely, genuinely kind of lost. Can you, can somebody in the comment section explain to me if you're watching this right now? Just, just comment below what's, what's actually happening because I, I'm lost. I, I'm pretty, pretty lost. I don't know where the comedy is. I've been, I've watched this video four times because I had to re-record this four times because my camera is a bad camera. And I still, I still can't find a comedy. I, just, I get angrier every single time. I cannot find the comedy in this video. I've, I've watched it four times. And there's still no fucking laugh. I mean, this is just cringy. This is just cringy. It's just cringy. I, I, I feel like a Jamaican watching this video right now is probably breaking down in tears. They're seeing that. They're seeing their culture just taken. And just, I just had a massive shit put onto it. Just that, that, that doesn't make sense. But that's basically what's happening in this situation. They've just taken a Jamaican, made the biggest stereotype whatsoever. It's not funny. It's, it's just not funny. I, I, I don't care particularly about racial stereotypes, but it's it's just not funny. It never is funny. I'm pretty sure the good people of Jamaica have intellect and are normal human beings, not like this spastic. Fuck me. Fuck me. What is with... What is with this? What the fuck? Who lost the dog? I just need to go use the bathroom! Hey, little girl, why don't you just go back home to your mom? I don't know what it is, but Lele Pons just has some, some strange addiction to bullying kids. I, I, I guess that's her thing. That's what she gets her kicks out of, bullying kids. I mean, I know it's an act. I know it's all scripted. I, yeah, I, I fully understand. It. It's scripted. But these kids look very uncomfortable throughout the entire thing. They just look like they don't want to be there. They just look completely uncomfortable when every time they get shut down by Lele. It's just not nice to watch. In all honesty, I just broke up with him. He's not with me anymore. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Three years sneaking around for you? This is how you repay me? Three years? Yes! Oh my god. You know what? I'm glad we didn't do that free now. I love that dog! Okay, 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 okay. Maybe, maybe I can understand where the comedy is. I can look past my comedy values and can see why it's funny. I can't. I just can't. It's just not funny. It's... There's no comedy in this whatsoever. The writing is terrible. Just everything is terrible. She has thousands and thousands of dollars put into this and it's still not funny. It's just two blokes having a domestic with Lele Pons because one of them has cheated with Lele Pons and the other is Lele Pons' husband and it's just completely diverted away from this fucking dog. What's going on with the dog? I want to know. What's happening with this dog? Please welcome Princess Olivia. What dog is this? Welcome, Olivia. It's a pleasure to have you. What is this? What? What? I'm sorry. What? This is Sugar Bean's wife. Nah. Nah, I'm, I'm just convinced, Lele, Lele, you've lost the plot. You've just, you've just lost it. You've just full, you're full on mental. You've lost it. She has sat down and written this. Now, actually, no, she hasn't. She hasn't written this because she's owned by a multi-million dollar production team. And this team make all their videos for them. And you can see that on this website where it explains to her how none of Lele Pons' videos are actually made by Lele Pons. But that's not good, Lele. That's not good. You're in YouTube Rewind, love. On a website which originally was called YouTube Broadcast Yourself, you should probably broadcast yourself because that's not good. Oh no, wait, sorry, I forgot after they always hired the Broadcast Yourself slogan. To be big on YouTube, you actually have to be fucked in the ass by a massive multi-million dollar corporation. Forgot about that. Sorry, sorry guys, That's, it's my, it's my bad, my bad, sorry. All right, let's, let's, let's finish this. Let's try and find the punchline because maybe at the ending of this, there is a form of comedy. That's probably not, that's probably not, let's be honest. Why don't we just let Princess Olivia speak for herself? Oh my God, you know what, let's get, yeah, yeah, why don't we let her speak human, okay? Yeah, she should speak human. Oh, 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 what oh. do you, what do you have to say for yourself? Go ahead. <laughs> well, Dr. Fee, I thought I'd given up on love. But then I found Sugar Bean. <laughs> On our first date, 
He told me all about the- Why does the dog speak in English? Why does the dog speak in English? That doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make sense to me. And the thing is, as I keep saying, they've got a million dollar production team, but all they've done is zoomed in on dog's face. They've just zoomed in on it and put an MP3 file over it. That's all they've done. That is the laziness of a Lele Pons video. This makes me angry. This actually physically makes me angry. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm actually having to sit down and react to just this. It's, it's just sickening. It's just sickening. I'm going to burn my phone after watching this. Can you burn phones? Can you, can somebody let me know? Can you burn phones? Now, I've never actually understood the comedy value of Instagram comedians or Viners. So, in, in the comment section, can somebody explain to me why people find Viners funny and why people find Instagram comedians funny? Because to me, there doesn't seem to be any comedic value or any effort put into these videos whatsoever. They have a big corporation making the videos for them and it just it just seems like cringy television humor. you got to think Lele Pons is in the same bracket as Jake and Logan Paul. They were owned by Disney and Lele Pons is also owned by a Hollywood company. It's no different. It's no different whatsoever. Where's the comedy? These people are fake. It's just not funny. What? Why do people watch this? I got angry. I got really fucking angry. I can't even put my arm over my chair. I got really, really angry watching this. And I think it's just because of the direction YouTube's going in. Because this is it. This is the reality of the matter. These people are hosting, hosting YouTube Rewind. Just hosting it. You were about to tell me about 2017? It was, uh, it was, it was good. Okay. Why are these people on the front page of Rewind? I know Rewind was two weeks ago, but I'm just still confused by why Lele Pons was the main person on it. Instagram comedy is bad. That's all we can conclude from this. It's just not funny. It just, there's no plot and it's, it's just not funny. I keep saying it's not funny because it's not funny. It's not funny. Ah, oh, man, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. That is the end of the video. And if you want more updates on me, follow me on Twitter at iNabbaTV. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's just iNabba and Snapchat is also iNabba. I also do have another announcement. So basically, I created a Patreon a few weeks ago and I had a fuck up with it. I basically made it so I charged every single time somebody posted on it. So obviously, nobody pledged to the Patreon, but I fixed it now. So if you guys want to go pledge to the Patreon, it's there, it's open. Don't do it if you haven't got any money. If you want a packet of Oreos, spend it on yourself. If you want a fucking game, spend it on yourself. But if you do have something spare, you do want to help me out, massive appreciation. Big thanks to the only current patron at the moment, you're a fucking legend. Let me know your thoughts on Instagram comedy below, and if you did enjoy it, like and subscribe. Have a good day, people. Peace.